I'm Tracy Baxter with today's record news watch. Newburgh City Police were facing an all too familiar challenge today. They were trying to find witnesses who could help them bring in the person responsible for the city's latest fatal shooting incident. 35 year old Jeffrey Henry, a father of seven, was gunned down early Wednesday morning inside a residence at 54 Chambers Street. He staggered out and collapsed about a block away in front of a building on Landers Street. Henry was pronounced dead after arrival at uh, St. Luke's hospital, making him the 10th homicide victim in Newburgh this year. Police were asking anyone with information to come forward. The phone number is 569-7509. Officials with the Sullivan County Sheriff's Department say they've broken a theft ring that was targeting area Walmart stores. Video surveillance images helped uh, deputies identify two suspects who tried to make off with computers at the Monticello Walmart early last Sunday morning. A security guard was injured as the suspects were making their getaway. City Middletown Police picked up 21-year-old Matthew Rankin of Scotchtown and 18-year-old Dylan Kratzer of Middletown. They have been charged with attempted robbery, grand larceny, and assault. The getaway driver, 25-year-old Keith Grove of Scotchtown was already in custody on a forgery charge. Sullivan County Under Sheriff Eric Shabote says the trio are suspects in five other Walmart thefts in the past few weeks that also included stores in Walkill and Matamoros. It is another sign that New York State's economy is still struggling to recover from the recession. The State Department of Labor released unemployment numbers for November today, and in our region, they are up uh, from the month before. The Orange County jobless rate was 7.9 percent. That's up three-tenths from October. It was also 7.9 percent in Ulster County, up a half percent from the month before. But the jump was almost a full percentage point in Sullivan County, where the November unemployment rate stood at 9.4 percent. The Labor Department reported that statewide, only 700 new private sector jobs were added in November. They got inside, but they didn't get what they were after. Town of Wallkill police are looking for two men who burglarized two businesses in broad daylight Wednesday afternoon at the Playtogs Shopping Plaza off Dolson Avenue. Police say the men who were described as Hispanic first pried open the front doors of the former Classic Q business located on the second floor. Then once inside, they cut through a dividing wall leading into the adjacent dart, stamp, and coin store. The men then tried to break into the safe there, but uh, they ran off when an alarm was triggered. Anyone with information on this case is asked to call Town of Wallkill Police at 692-6757. And these bags hold a mountain of new toys that will soon be given out to parents of needy kids at the Salvation Army headquarters in Middletown. Today, volunteers began the process of sorting them to make sure they go to the right families who've been deemed eligible to get the donations. Salvation Army Major Paula Spencer has been organizing Christmas drives for 25 years. She says she couldn't do it without help from local companies and volunteers and not without an organized distribution process. And what happens is we uh, go through our My Toy Master List, mark off each child as it comes through so I know they're getting a bag of toys, and then we bag it up with the, no the code and the number. Of course, you see them all piled high back here, but what happens then is we have groups and volunteers that will then move them to our gym and then lines them up in number order so that when the families come in on our distribution day, they can go right through the line. More than 700 bags containing about 3,000 toys need to be sorted for distribution on Monday. Eligible families will also get food for the holidays as part of the program. It won't be quite as cold in the next couple of days. The forecast for tomorrow includes plenty of sunshine with temperatures uh, rising into the middle 30s. There will be a mix of sun and clouds on Saturday with the highs reaching the upper 30s. Be sure to make frequent visits to Record Online to stay on top of all the breaking news and get all the news in depth when you pick up tomorrow's edition of the Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.